Okay, guys, we're back with a brand new how to make, and as you can see, we're clearly in a different place than usual. That is for sure. That is for certain. We are on an island, a floating island, and that's because this is a special island, and it's where all the proper dummy members are going to be built. They're going to have their own little island, and then I'm going to put this island up for download once it's complete. So... Yes, today we're going to be building me, and you guys in the comment section will decide which proper dummy you want built next, because, well, I have to go first. I'm, I'm a little egotistical. So, yes, this is my plot. It's in the middle, because I'm full of myself, and I'm in the center. I'm the center of attention. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my bricks out. I'm looking at my skin, even though I know the skin like the back of my, you know, my hand right here. That's the back of my hand. Wait, what? I don't remember that. But I want to keep it open just in case, so I can look and make sure I don't make any mistakes. So, let me get my bricks out that I'm going to need. And let's do this. Hey, look, I don't even have to build my build. There I am. It's perfect. The exterior looks very lovely. Yes, very lovely. If I do say so myself, all this gray right here is part of the first part of my layer. It's hoodie. Hey, hey, get off. I know it's soft because it's hoodie, but you can't be. Hey, hey, buy your own hoodie. We'll make your own hoodie. You're a sheep. Oh, gosh. I need to start building in quick and get the heck out of here before the sheep police show up. Okay, I'm just going to fill in the back and then I'm going to put the face on. I'm not really sure if I'm going to have my eyes be blue. I'm not really sure just yet. And if I don't, then it most likely will be lapis lazuli. The comment section has really been asking for the proper dummies, obviously. I see a lot of Bert. I see a lot of Matt. I also see a lot of, hey, build Matt with his derp face. So you guys are going to have to fight it out in the comment section on which Matt you want because I'm only building one on the island. Which one do you want? Do you want normal Matt or do you want Matt derp? Do you want Derpy Matt? I need to know. You guys need to let me know down in the comments section. And also, if you guys are really excited for this island, please, please, please hit that like button. I very much appreciate it, as does all the other proper dummy members, even though I'm the only one building on this series. But we do appreciate your guys' likes because it means that you guys are having a good time. And if you guys are having a good time, then we're having a good time. We love to see you guys entertained. And that's why we do what we do. We're so honored to be able to call YouTube our job. And I'm glad that I can also entertain people too. My job is to be a YouTuber and it's to entertain people. Heck yeah. Okay, well, the beard is like it is because, well, on the front, there is no beard. But on the side, there is beard. So there's going to be half beard on the side and no beard on the front instead of beard on the front. I don't, I don't think that would look good because that's, that's not what my skin looks like. So I'm going to have the beard be a halfsies. It's going to be a halfsies and it's going to have to share the face. Sharing the face because sharing is caring. Now, if you haven't seen the other how to makes, make sure you do. There is a playlist on the channel, and I really hope you guys can check that out and show it some love. I love being able to build people. I know you guys really wanted to see the dummies, and that's why I'm building this island. I wanted it to be separate. I wanted it to be a giant map that everyone could just come on and play on. I think that'd be a lot of fun, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. The island's a lot of fun. It took me a while to build it and get it all, you know, situated, but I'm very happy that I have this island, and I'm glad that you guys are going to be able to play on it very shortly. Now, yes, you don't have to hit the like button for this video to be uploaded eventually. It's going to be uploaded, but I do love seeing you guys hit that like button because it makes me happy. It makes me happy, and it makes me go, yay, they like it! Almost done with the outer layer, and then I'm going to build the face, and hopefully the face looks good. I mean, it's my face, so hopefully it looks pretty. My mom always said I was a handsome boy. And if you guys say I'm not handsome, then gosh darn it, mom, you lied to me. You lied to my face. You lied to a child. You used to tell me that when I was a little boy. Maybe I got uglier as I got older. Oh, God, I bet that could definitely be a possibility. Oh, gosh. Am I pretty, guys? Please let me know. Hey, hey look at that. My mouth actually will be a little higher than my um, door. My door will actually be in my beard. You'll get to crawl through my beard to come inside my house, so... That's a little creepy. Don't worry. I know you guys have to enter through my beard, but I wash it every night. I even condition it every night. I have a very soft beard. A very soft beard. Look at it. Isn't it majestical? Even though I look like Abraham Lincoln? Four scores and seven years ago. Okay, two things. I don't like the color of the brown that I used. I look very flat, and I need it to be a darker brown, so I'm going to have to remove all of that, but I think the beard can stay as is because my beard color... No, it's got to be changed, too. And also, I look like I'm wearing lipstick, so gosh darn it, I got a lot of things to fix. I'll be right back. All right, well, I tried multiple different types of brown, and I actually ended up with gray. Yes, the gray terracotta. Even though it's not gray, it's brown to me, but it doesn't make me feel like I look old, so I don't feel like I look old, even though I'm almost 30, and that still terrifies me to this day. 
I also did incorporate the doors already just for the fact that this is sand. So if this wasn't here, the sand would fall. I tried different types of pink and I just couldn't find I, you know, one I liked. So I, I, I incorporated the, uh, the sand of the pink. So it looks a little better. I'm being way too finicky with this build just for the fact that it's me. And also, I got rid of the eyes because I didn't like the blue, so I did put in the lapis lazuli like I said I might. So, there it is. So, yes, there are two different colors for the hair. So, you got your hair, and then you got your beard color. The beard color is brown terracotta, and the top's gray. So, yes. And, obviously, you have the gray for the hoodie. But now I have to put on the second layer, and then we're going to go inside, and we're going to start decorating this bad boy. And by this bad boy, I mean myself. <laughs> I'm a bad boy. Ow. I had to cut into the tree a little bit. I'm sorry, tree. I'm also sorry to the environmentalists who are upset about me cutting into said tree. Nothing personal. All right, everything is nice and incorporated. Now the hoodie is attached, and it also looks like my head may or may not be connected to an actual body underneath, and it's just stuck underground. Very similar to Easter Island. We are making our own proper dummy Easter Island, for all we know. There might be giant, giant robotic proper dummies underneath this island, and one day they'll come out and fight the monsters that come from the sky because aliens are real, and if you don't believe in them, just do some Googling because they're there. They're there. They're not there. I don't believe in aliens. Do you believe in aliens? I don't. I mean, it would make sense because there's so much, you know, out there, but... Gosh darn it, why haven't they come by and said hello yet? I'm gonna make the ground blue, I think. I like blue. One of my favorite colors is black, and I just don't feel like having black floors. It would show dust far too easily. And dust is just a gosh darn issue for black furniture. I know. All my furniture's black. And I'm too cheap to buy more. Ah, it's pretty. Well, it's pretty dark too, so I'll be right back to you guys after these short messages. I have no messages, sorry. Sorry, I lied. I shouldn't have done that. My second layer is kind of boring compared to everybody else's second layers on Minecraft. I've just, I've only had two, three skins since I've started on Minecraft, and that was back in 2010. I used to have a creeper that had like a derpy face on it, and then I had a Minecraft skin that I actually got because Aviator Gaming wanted me to wear it for one of his series. And then I just kept it. And I've, you know, changed it up a little bit because now I have a different hoodie and um, I like hoodies. That's why I always wear this hoodie right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to incorporate some natural lighting because natural light just works so much better than like redstone and stuff. And I obviously am not going to be using glass on the front of my face for eyes. So I really, I kind of have to have some natural light. And that's fine because, I mean, how often are people going to be flying over the head and just being like, mm, I disapprove. I don't like this map anymore because there's glass on the top of his head. I'm a little hollow in the head. Basically, what I'm saying is I'm a dummy. Heck, I'm on the proper dummy channel because I'm a proper dummy. I like to say things like, shall we? And I'm also really dumb. I'm perfect for the channel. Uh, self-deprecating humor. Isn't it just the best type of humor out there? I love putting myself down and making fun of myself. Because uh, if I don't, they will. And by they, I mean you guys. And that's fine. I deserve it. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Look, there's only like a little bit of shadow, and that's fine. I can build something right there. So this is nice. I'm very happy with this. Heck to the yeah. All right, let's figure out what we're going to do and see how many stories we're going to make this bad boy. I'm the bad boy. <laughs> I'm a bad boy. I'm a dork, too. All right, I have each floor kind of separated, and I might change something. I'm not really sure just yet, but this is the first floor. Then you come up to the second floor. Then you come up to, like, the second and a half, and then you're up to the third floor. You can consider this a four-story house, but I don't really consider it four stories. But, yeah, it's, um... It's going to be interesting. I'm very intrigued to see what I can do, but uh, the lighting situation is obviously difficult because not too much natural sunlight, and it's kind of dark in here because of the brown. So, or gray, whatever you want to call it. Well, there is gray, too. There's gray and brown, and, you know, there's tan, but we're going to see, and I'm going to decorate this, and we're going to see what this bad boy turns out to look like. I said it again. I keep calling myself a bad boy. I think I just like to give myself pet names, I suppose. So yeah, hope you guys are enjoying. Let's get into it and let's see what I'm able to make. Okay, well the very first proper dummy of proper dummy island has been completed. Hopefully you guys enjoy. We're going to go ahead and jump in. I spent far longer on this than I expected I would. I just got carried away and just started having some fun. So yes, 
I did keep the blue floor. The blue concrete is as it was, but I did, you know, make these little walkways out of uh, dark oak. So I thought that was pretty nice. I also have some furniture here, there, and everywhere for just lounging and hanging out and texting and stuff like that. Because I know I find myself just sitting down on a piece of furniture and texting my girlfriend because she lives like an hour away. So, you know, we always don't get to hang out. We get to hang out during the weekend. So I find myself... Usually in my spare time, just lounging around texting her or, you know, watching some TV and texting her or watching TV with her. So, yes, this is the living room that I have built. I have a really nice TV with some surround sound, baby. So we can relax and get really in depth in a movie because I love movies. All of that over there that I'm pointing at, that's like my nightstand. But it's also where I keep my Blu-rays. I probably have... A little under a hundred Blu-rays. Some of my favorite movies are over there. I don't own all of my favorite movies, but that's what Netflix and Hulu is for. <laughs> all right, so I'm not going to go upstairs just yet because we do have another room down here, and that is the kitchen. Yes, the kitchen, so I can wash my hands even though this is a cauldron, but we're role-playing right now, guys. We're role-playing, and this is just kind of uh, where I would keep all my stuff if I uh, needed a kitchen. So, yes, I have some armor in case someone starts breaking act and throw it on and go, nah! And go attack them and destroy them because I'm super good and strong and cool. Got some books for like reading and whatnot, maybe some cookbooks because it's kind of in a kitchen, you know, theme. Also, I did put some like windows, but it's more or less just like aquariums. The living room also had an aquarium, and that was just because I have that hoodie, and that hoodie's kind of hidden. So I just put the water source in that hoodie little area, and I don't know, it just kind of made it look a little bit more homey so yes i obviously couldn't just put windows there because there's just a gray slab right there so i was i was like i want to do something so i just put in multiple aquariums in my house even though i've only owned a fish once in my life and i went i went away with my family on vacation and when i came back he had actually jumped out and was shriveled up he looked like a little raisin just sitting on my desk and i was very sad I was probably in second grade when that happened. I put a sun dollar. You know sun you know what a sun dollar is? I put it on top of it so he wouldn't jump out because he was known to jump, but he had never actually jumped out, but he had jumped out and you know also broken my sun dollar. The heck with you, goldfish. You're a big bully. Breaking things like that. And then dying? Do you know how much I spent on you? Well, I actually didn't spend any money on you. Do you know how much my parents spent on you? I don't even know. Alright, we got some artwork, some artwork. You know, symmetry is key for me. And we're going to go ahead and go upstairs. So the first floor, I liked it. I enjoyed the first floor, and I hope you did as well. Second floor is very small, very basic. This is just some um, natural lighting being able to be let in because of, you know, the natural lighting that I put right here. So, yes, I do have the hole in the back of my head. So that's sad. But it's all right. It's all right. It allows natural lighting, which makes me happier. Yay! Natural lighting is good because I have a hole in the head. But, uh, yeah, that natural lighting can seep through there and, you know, light up that room down there. Because no matter how many redstone, you know, lanterns I put in, it just continued to be dark. And I was like, why? Why are you doing this to me? And then this is a little library. I also, in that little place over there, I keep some of my favorite books. I have Paralandria, which is one of my favorite uh, books. I have The Old Man of Sea. It's an Ernest Hemingway. Paralandria was a C.S. Lewis book. And then I also have... Um, My Side of the Mountain, some books like that that I grew up with and I just really enjoyed. So that's what this is, and it's got some of my fan fictions that you guys have written. Because I've, I've read many of fan fictions, and I enjoy them. So thank you very much for the fan fictions, even though they are a little crazy sometimes. But that's what I love about you guys. You're a little crazy. All right, now we're on the second and a half, and that's just kind of uh, more or less a hallway. You may be wondering what the anvils are for, and the anvils are here because I just kind of put them there because I was just like, maybe my dad has passed them on to me. The thing about my dad is that he enjoys blacksmithing. It's one of his hobbies, and he picked up an anvil for himself, and he's worked on it a lot. So I was just like, maybe this is a futuristic house, and this is an anvil that my father has passed on to me. And this other anvil is my grandfather's because he also blacksmithed, and I think his father, and so on and so forth. So yes, we've had some blacksmiths in our family, so I was just like, maybe these are anvils that have been passed on to me later in life. So yes, that's what that's for. So let's go up to the actual third story, or you can call it the fourth. If you want to consider this a third story, so be it. In my opinion, it's just like a hallway. But yeah, let's go up in here. Technical te technicalities, you do you. You do you. You can call this whatever floor you want. But yes, this is where I am right now. 
where I am right now, my desk. And that's me. I'm playing Minecraft. And this is my chair. There's not really any black stairs, but I have a black chair, so I got the darkest color I could. And then desk, and then here's some stuff that I would ever, you know, so often need. Some clothing and underwear and socks and stuff like that. A little piece of art, because as you can see, I have so many pieces of artwork. So I like art. So that's what this is right here. And then my bed, which is gray, which you can see right here. That's my gray bed. I love my gray bed, even though it's got a hole in it because Cohiba, my roommate's uh, cat, cut it, and I have a big nick in my bed, so now I have to buy a new sheet, gosh darn it, because now my hip, my bed's looking a little gross looking. And then these are supposed to be candles. Obviously, there's not any candles if you're just playing normal Minecraft. I, if I put a mod in, obviously, I could put a candle here, but I love burning a candle in my room. I love the smell of candles. So that is my build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I uh, did have some difficulties lighting it, but I had way, way, way more fun building this than I expected. I thought it was going to be a little scary because I was just like, ah, it's me, so I'm going to be very picky. And I was. I was very picky with this build, and I probably spent a total of three hours building this. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and if you do, please consider smashing that like button. I love when you guys can smash that like button. Also, hit that notification bell, even though I know I have those pop-ups at the beginning of the video. But if you haven't done it yet and you forgot, please consider doing so. And uh, you'll see the next proper dummy being built um, next week. So hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I'll be bringing you another proper dummy member next week. So love you guys, and goodbye.